Kelvin Williams, uh, part-time semi-full-time sawmiller, logging contractor. With these two mills behind me, um, the 10 inch mill, like I say, is on its fourth motor and generally they do about 3,000 hours. Um, and the slabber, I've probably done around 60 or 70 hours on, on that. Being involved in designing and supplying timber, just finished my 18th house. Um, so with the changes of engineers and the building codes and things like that, it was, it was necessity to get a bigger mill. Um, and it was a matter of, because of the beams and things that, I'm, that go into the builds, are all oversized, um, and bigger is better. After asking for a long time for Petersons to develop a 300 uh, cut sawmill, uh, eventually it finally got here. It's been great to be part of the project with regards to developing it and, and seeing how it ran, uh, putting it into uh, or putting it into commercial logs, basically of all sorts and all sorts of species, um, and even though it's been a prototype, it's been great. We've had this mill in the field for 10 months. I would say I have put around 240 hours on it, I would say, in total. I, on average, I do a cube an hour. So, you know, you're talking a couple of hundred cubes quite comfortably. Obviously, the biggest thing which was outside my field was the blades. Um, at the end of the day, I operate them. I'm not, I'm not a designer or anything like that. So. Yeah, just the correspondence and changing blade designs and things like that to see that they would cut well. Um, everything else, all the safety features and everything on the mill, not a lot had to be changed in that area. It was all pretty much on the money when it came out of the factory. My 10 inch could obviously do a double cut of 500 by 250, which um, I'm renowned for 10 meter span beams. Now a 300 by 300, I can get to 15 metres under an engineered span. One day I'd like to go from the equivalent of um, a 200 or 140 square metre open building to around 230, 40. The 300 mil certainly cuts faster than the 250 and that can go down to blade design and also obviously engine engine size. The frame itself has obviously got more bracing in it compared to the, the older 10 inch mils. Um, it was something that we we did talk about um, while I was using Scrappy, um, but yeah, look, uh, nothing's really changed in terms of accuracy. If anything, everything's got better, which is what you'd expect with progress anyway. The features and the upgrades from from rollers and and, and what have you and wheels certainly makes the whole operation easier and makes it flow a lot easier. A full full depth cut not a problem for the mills. It, it comes down to uh, just the speed that you actually basically want to work. But um, a big piece, you know, a big piece of wood, full depth, um, not a problem. And in horizontal or flat, it doesn't doesn't make any difference at all. Thought it was great just to have a handle winch uh, that, that was uh, that could alter the whole mill. That was a big step up from the eight inch. Uh, now to go to electric, well, that's just yeah, that's just uh, starting to show your age, really. I think, the, <laughs> I think at the end of the day, uh, yeah, um, the manufacturer's getting older himself and he doesn't like to, to wind it up. But, uh, yeah, no, the electric winch, and it's accurate. Um, so, yeah, it's good. Being part and parcel of the development of this mill and just testing it for, for Pedersons, basically, um, a lot was taken into account with the heat and monitoring heat temperatures on the blade and the gearbox and things like that and yeah the uh, being able to uh, be part of that and and basically not the mill blade or gearbox not get overheated through big cuts and and loading it up um it, yeah it's been good i certainly didn't overheat and uh um no matter what what you threw at it um it certainly didn't overheat sharpening it maintaining it greasing it uh, having the double bearing on the on the shaft, I think that's been a, a big plus as well. You notice, you know, it's just looks safer, looks a lot more stable. In terms of uh, the the gas struts on the on the rollover on the blade and things like that, um, yeah, it, it certainly stabilises everything. Um, 
and less inclined to be banging the blade around thinking that you've got something big down there that that can quite easily get out of control or you know if you drop it so they they do take that out and that is a good safety feature having the gas struts on there the maintenance i've done on the gearbox is basically just changing the changing the oil had no issues with the gearbox or anything like that or bearings uh, wherever i'm milling the mill stays um, and all i have from time to time is, is a cover over it if i'm not milling every single day rain hail or snow that's out in the weather um, and it doesn't affect the machine in any way shape or form i'm looking forward to be able to mill bigger timbers and and with all the building codes changing and that it just means that you can do it with ease without double cuts so therefore production is nat naturally going to be faster looking forward to as i say milling some 15 meter beams which will be pretty impressive the mills are pretty much there um, there's nothing else that from day to day that you need to be doing in order to uh, operate them they use a friendly big time this is the first of the production line really of the 12 and a half inch mill manufactured back in the peterson factory um, it's done 1.3 hours of us just double checking everything um, but what we're looking at doing here now is Calvin's going to give it a final once over for us and thrash it for about another 30 hours we're hoping um, and get his final feedback on to whether or not this should be how it gets sold. What is different here? Bigger blade, less teeth, um, it's got all the guarding on it. More bracing has obviously, got, like I said, has gone into the frame compared to the to the to scrappy. Oh, he's got fancy stickers on the, this one. <laughs> Where yeah. scrappy didn't. Yeah, not scared <laughs> to show it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking really forward to it because it's been a, a little bit of time in the making, and obviously, uh, for me, it's been a long time in the waiting. So um, to to actually be able to try out the finished product and it's a privilege to be able to uh, operate it and be first to see how it all goes um, and certainly uh, certainly looking forward to it.